It's fine. They'll be here soon. It's once they get here that I'm worried about. I can't do it. There's no way I can come out to my parents here. They'll make a scene. Max, here is fine. Your parents aren't going to freak out in public. Hi, Andrea. I see you're still hanging out with this runt of ours. But seriously, he's not seeing any other women, is he? No, no, that's definitely not a problem for us. Ah, uh, that's my boy, one at a time, right? Just like the old man. <laughs> Never mind, that's all we could ever get was one at a time. So, Maxie, what was this news he wanted us all to be together for? Well, now hang on, Lillian. Everybody knows you got to have a bottle of wine first to celebrate these things. Otherwise, you'd be toasting with an empty glass, and that's bad luck. <laughs> Garçon? Garçon? Ah, um, a bottle of your nicest candy, please, and get a little something for yourself. I love... French wine after the sun goes down. Should we tell him that Chianti is down? So, honey, has the reason you called us here have anything to do with marriage? God, Mom, every time we talk, it's marriage and babies, marriage and babies, grandkids this, grandkids that. I'm 22 years old. I'm not nearly ready for marriage or babies. I am not all about marriage and babies. Don't make me sound like such a buffoon in front of your girlfriend, young man. Exactly. I'm just a young man. Well, don't be so selfish, Max. Have you spoke to Andrea about what she wants? Maybe she is ready to commit her life to you, ready for you to father her children, and had no idea you were feeling this way. Believe me, Mom. Andrea is just as unstable as I am. Hey! I don't mean that. I just mean the whole marriage and babies thing, right? That isn't exactly why our relationship is not the whole marriage and babies thing, Max. Well, what do you mean, Andrea? You love each other, don't you? Yes, I love Andrea, and we are still very close. Still? I don't understand. We broke up eight months ago. Well, you're still doing the do, right? I mean, you're still together? No, there's no doing of any do. When Max and I broke up, Max was going through a hard time, and I really care for him, so I helped him through what I could. And now, eight months later, we're at the final point of what we've been trying to get to. Final point. Mom. Dad. I'm gay. You're gay? Oh my god. Thank god! You made it sound like you had some kind of heart disease or something. Heart disease? Well, yes. And if you had had heart disease and didn't tell your Mom, own Mom, I don't have a heart disease. Is there anything else you want to say? About what? About the fact that I'm homosexual. Oh. Thank you for telling us, dear. That's it? Well... I don't want to insult you or anything, but I just don't think it's all that big of a deal. You don't? Not at all, honey. Anything you want to say, Frank? You know that guy Jim at work? Sure. Well, I think he's got a kid that likes other boys, too. Are you seeing anyone? Max has been too shy to tell anyone, let alone hit on anyone. Because I don't think he's seeing anyone either. That would be, we could set them up. Dad! Oh, that would be so cute! They could have a destination wedding. Andrea! And, and you could adopt babies! That uh, Michael Patrick Harris did that, and, and that guy from Modern Family, he's so funny. How, how does it always come back to marriage and babies? Uh, here's a toast. To marriage and babies. To marriage, marriage and, and babies. babies. <laughs>